Hey everybody, this is Steve. And Tommy. And Rennie. And together, we're Smart Home Rigs, helping your smart, smart home tech, tech work, work for you. you. Today we're talking about the Wise Floor Lamp, the $45 light from Wise. And in a room full of smart home technology, this is a piece of technology that isn't for smart homes, and yet it is a smart technology. That means it's a smart task light with 15 individual condenser lenses and a super focused 23 degree light. What do you like most about it, Tommy? I love the magnetic Bluetooth remote that controls 11 levels of brightness. For me, I'd have to say it's the 5 foot 11 inch flexible stand because you can bend that thing in almost any direction and I like to use it pointed towards the ceiling so it washes over the whole room and I use it as light therapy. It really helps with my anxiety. So it's great for projects or as a reading lamp and the remote can easily mount to any metal base. So watch this and we'll get right into it. Okay, this is what we got here, the Wise floor lamp. So let's open this bad boy up and see what we got. Okay, smart Bluetooth remote, 800 lumens, energy cost $1.08 per year. Comes with a light stand, bulb, remote, batteries, quick start guide. This light bulb is not for use in totally enclosed fixtures. All right. Oh, you know we love to see that right off the bat. I back the Wise floor lamp. You see that, guys? Little love from Wise coming back. Okay, we have a the retro projector, which is that little cardboard thing. Got a quick start guide. Pretty much assemble the lamp. Shows how the LEDs are set. All right, all the pieces here. Looks like they're. Almost like those spring form canes that just go together. So we'll uh, we'll put this part together here. Let's set this right here for right now. Let's see what else we got in the box. So it looks like the whole front part of the lamp is the light bulb. So it is literally all one piece with the plastic lampshade on the bulb itself seems pretty sturdy though 800 par 3 9 watt all right Tell us what all the pieces were. Here's the base, and that is a good heavy base. It's got some soft felt stuck to the bottom of it there, so it won't scratch up your floors. That's nice. Thank you, guys. And the button. So this is what controls it all. Is this little button right here? Pop out button before pairing the bulb. Remove this card before pairing the bulb. Read compliance. All right. So we'll take this off. 
so that the bulb can actually, the button can actually push. And then we'll, oh, love the tactile feel of the clickiness. All right, looks like that's all that there is in the box. Time to assemble this bad boy. And see how it works. The first thing you're gonna have to do when you get these pieces out of the box is contend with this plastic. And get yourself a pair of scissors, people, because they don't come out real easy. But if you get a pair of scissors, you can go right down the back seam and make sure you don't damage the lamp in the process. All right, now that we got the plastic off, let's get these all screwed together. Anybody who's ever uh, built a tent or put together a collapsible cane knows that you just insert rods into rods and screw them together until you've got your base. Then just screw in the above assembly and you're ready to plug it in. So let's see how this bad boy looks. First just plugged in. And wow, oh, so it's a click, it's not a flip switch, it's just a click switch. That's interesting. I'm going to lean this up for just a second so I can show you what I mean by that. So the light switch itself is just a, uh, it looks like an on off switch, but it doesn't stay on. As soon as you let it go, it's just a rocker switch that turns it on and off. So my guess is once you get it on, that's when this switch will take over and start doing all of the uh, stuff it needs to do. Let's go ahead and turn that bad boy on. Let's uh, take these off. Make sure it has the... Okay. Like this. says press the button on the side all right push the side button and when setup is complete Wow, that was incredibly easy. I love the tactile feel of this button. I can't get over that. That's cool. All right, so now that we've got that thing plugged in and that's that button paired, let's bring the light back down here. So now it's paired to the Bluetooth button. So now, you don't have to reach down and hit the little toggle button. You can put this anywhere and just turn it on, turn it up, or turn it down. And this thing goes super low. So you can have like a reading lamp or you can turn it up and it's like a second sun in here. It's very crisp bulb too. I imagine if I point it up, but 
if I point it away, it's like night and day in here. Well, that's the Wise Floor Lamp unboxing and setup. And let's see how Rennie's using his. He'll be covering how to set it up in the app next. All right, so now we're going to go ahead and pair this in the app. We're going to launch the Wise app here so we can get the lamp going. So to add a device, power lighting, floor lamp. Okay, it says to turn it on from here. This is the switch on the cord. This shows the brightness control in here. You can tap it to turn it off. You can do a time delay turned off. You can set schedules on it so it turns on at the same time every day or turns off. I like to use that for when I'm clocking in or clocking out. And you can even uh, set a delayed timer. So uh, if it takes you several minutes to get across the room, you can say, when I press the turn off button, I want you to wait two minutes and turn it off so you'll be able to clear the room before the light goes out. It also features something called smart dimming where it turns on to your learned brightness for getting stuff done. So if you always turn it on at 1%, then if you turn it on at that time just by pushing the button, it'll automatically turn on to that percentage. If you have it full blast, it'll turn on full blast. It's really kind of cool and the more you use it, the smarter it gets. Smart dimming is awesome. And let's make sure that this is up to date. We're going to press that button again so it pops out. You are up to date. Push it back in. And now we should have control. this lamp here or here and that's how you set that up so there are no there are no schedules set for it right now the remote is up to date and as of yet this is the only information that it has about my smart dimming history. But the more you use it, the smarter it gets, and the more convenient it gets for you. And that's the wise lamp. Another fun fact, in addition to having the uh, little sliders like you would see on a mouse and this has just got a protective covering on it it's also magnetized so you can stick it to anything you want and be able to turn it off and on dial it in just like that so that's pretty cool not a bad light for $45 we'll put links in the description if you want to pick yourself up one $45 isn't a bad price, especially for all the things that it can do. Until next time, my name has been Steve. And Tommy. And Rennie. And you guys have been great. Smart, smart Home Rigs. Helping, helping your, your smart, smart home tech, tech work, work for you. you.